SPIE presents the Advancing the Laser series, honoring 50 years of laser achievements. I am Katarina Svanberg. Uh, I am the SPIE 2010 president-elect. And I come from Lund University Hospital, where I work as a clinical doctor in oncology, but I am also a professor of oncology, which means that I supervise students, mainly in the field of biomedical optics, from the medical side and often in conjunction with some supervisor from the technical side. So they, these students may have two supervisors as they do applications in medicine, but with technical uh, approach. So that means that we may need to be from both sides to represent an interdisciplinary way of handling the, their PhD work. In my case, it was that I wanted to start the research actually in something biomedical optics related and I looked upon diagnostic radi radiology also which could have been another field where we could have done some good, some good things but then I ended up actually in oncology which for me was a natural step when uh, I was also very interested in photodynamic therapy for tumors so, so that led me to the choice of, of uh, specialization in oncology. As soon as ruby laser was discovered, it was introduced into medicine and I have always in my uh, talks started out from the different laser wavelengths because they act so differently in tissue. So for, for medical people, in many specialities, lasers is extremely important, not only as a cutting tool, I mean, that's important because we can do operations or surgical procedures with less blood being spilled, but also in many other um, situations for, for tissue detection, we can use lasers for early tumor detection, which is so important. We know that if we discover a tumor early, we can save the patient's life to 90%. If we discover late in lung cancer, for example, it's only a few percentage that we save so or cure. So, so lasers have a very important role to play, and I think we can utilize it even more. So, so that's really interesting uh, source for us, both in detection and treatment of cancer. In oncology is a wide field because it ranges from surgery over medical oncology, which is with the cytotoxic drug delivery. We have the more physics related treatment modalities, which is radiation therapy, isotope therapy, and they are also laser come in to play. So, so the, it's sort of a threefold uh, speciality. And um, in radiation therapy, which I work with a lot, we have seen good improvements. I mean, the, the, the methods are in principle the same. And, and, and the radiation goes where it goes. But the way we can have the dosimetry for the patient is much, much better these days. And uh, the quality, I think, of what we deliver in radiation therapy is much more advanced. And when I say advanced, I may mean that we more hit the tumor and spare the organs which are around or the tissue which are around. Because radiation goes right through you and, and the trick is to find ways to save as much as possible of the tissue that is not affected by the tumor. In uh, Europe we have a system which is a little bit different from the US. In US you have what you call clinical researchers and they do research mainly, part, not only part of the time, but more, uh, more of the day is devoted for that for them. For us in uh, Europe it's mainly that we do clinical work and then we have to take time off for research. So we are, we are located at the hospital as clinical doctors. But besides that, we can sort of buy our time free to do some research. So, so the organization is a little bit different. I don't know which is better because the good thing with the system we have is that we have continuous contact with patients. So we really know the clinical challenges and, and the needs in, in clinical situations for the patients. I wouldn't say that they don't know that here, but we have, all of us have a close contact to the patients. 
And I think that that's something that really makes us very aware of where the, the real needs are. That's a trick, I think, to not to pretend that you know all the other people's field, but to try to learn as much as possible and bring over knowledge also. Not only the terms, because that can impress some people, but I mean also to get a little bit of the understanding. Where are the limits? Uh, what can you do with this? And, and how much of it is, is really important to know before you go ahead and, and uh, to raise, in my case of course, to raise the questions, where are the needs in medicine? What is still the challenge? What can photonics do in medicine? We all know that there are techniques being developed which have been introduced in the medicine, like uh, OCT, which is a real success story, and uh, MRI was developed and then introduced into uh, to the medical field. But I think it's also vice versa, that, that we need to point out where the needs are and then techniques could, in, in the best case, be developed to fulfill this. So, a, a close interaction, I think, on an interdisciplinary, cross-disciplinary um, platform is very valuable.